So it's off the final race of the Cheltenham Festival then for this season. It's the Leon van Rensburg Cup. It's the four and a half mile grade one. And top quality field. And at the top we've got Debancha Man for Alex Cherry. Lord Cal Padre Hogan has also got Tint Zin Fyral. Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, Castle Donington, Darren Thompson, Fire Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg, Hardly for the National, Joshua Sutherland, Lorma, Darren Thompson, Malon Raider, Leon Van Rensburg, Stravita Field, David Robertson, and Take the Long Road for Joshua Sutherland. So 11 of them then, pretty much every single one of these will line up in the National next week, I would think. And away they go. And, I mean, one of Group 1, one of them will be at least 175, and that'll blow the handicap for everybody else. So it's Tint Tin Firel who's got into the lead from Blanche Neige and Castle Donington. Then Lord Kai, hardly for the Nationals after that one. And then Lorma, well, the pace is slow, as you would expect. With such a long distance to go. Oh, we've got a bit of a problem with the video as well there. Oh, it just stuttered. At least it did on mine, so hopefully we're not going to have a four and a half mile race with the Condries out of sync that would be most annoying they're all, they're all safely over the first and Tintin Fire and Lord Kai are the two or Lord Cal are the two are taking it along for Padre Hogan hardly for the National is in third as they get over the water gonna go right another two times yet after that so they're gonna take the water another twice Hardly for the National is the leader. Into this ditch. All over it safe. They're pretty sand jumpers, most of these as well. So they should. We shouldn't get too many fallers. As they get to the fourth. And they're all safely over that. Lawmail wasn't all that foot perfect at it. But hardly for the National Lord Cal. Are currently disputing the lead. On Blanche Nest third, and then Tints in Fires after that one. Then Castle Donington as they get over the next, and they're all safely over that one. And hardly for the National landed in the lead, Lord Cal over it in the second. Blanche Nest third, Tints in Fires next, then Castle Donington and Fire Memorial, and then take the long road. Stravita Field, the Bansha Man, Malon Raider, and Lawnmower. Alex Cherry, Padraig Hogan, both looking for their first winners of the festival. It's not the race to be doing it, is it? The last race. And a four and a half mile grade one. Well, at the moment, Padraig Hogan looks like he's got more chance of doing it than Alex Cherry because he's got a share of the lead with hardly for the national. Tints in fire was third. Blanche is fourth as they skip over that next. There's a four and about lawnmowers gone. So. That's a bit of a surprise as Lorma is out. Whether that one, whether that'll affect that one's participation in next week's Grand National, we will wait and see. Lord Cal is in the lead. Most people have got two or three. They can put in the National. They've normally got one they can jettison and send to the Moors Millions that week. And it's Lord Cal in front. Hardly for the National is second. And there's a gap of about five lengths then to Tints in Fire and Blanche Neige as they get over number nine. Then Fire Memorial is next. Castle Donington, stable companion to the faller on the inside of Malon Raider. It's probably the Antipo's favourite for next week's Grand National, I would think, as they get over the tenth. Which they're all safely ever. Good jump by De Bansher Man, a horse who's been around nearly as long as me. And it's Lord Cal in the lead. Hardly for the National second, then Tints in final third, Blanche Neige fourth, then Fire Memorial and Malon Raider, Castle Donington, De Bansherman, Stravita Field, and finally take the long road at the back. As they make their way onto the back straight, still got two more circuits to go before the festival for season 13, or season 4, depending on where you start counting from, comes to an end as they get over that one. And Lord Cal. That's now gone two clear. Of hardly for the National in second. Tints in final. He's now alongside Fire Memorial. Malon Raider tucked in behind them as they get over the water jump. With Stravita Field, a new back marker for the newly crowned Cheltenham Gold Cup winning trainer. 
David Robertson. And Lord Cow leads over this ditch. All over that one safely. With Lord Cal in front, hardly for the national is four or five lengths down in second. Fire Memorial was cruising up on that one's outside in third as they get to the 14th, which is another plain one. They're all safely over that as well. Blanche Nation de Banche among the two Alex Cherry horses running together. Malon Raiders after that. Then Castle Donington, Stravita Field, and finally take the long road, but a long, long way to go yet. In this one, they get to this ditch. And Lord Cal is too clear. Fire Memorial is a clear second now. There's a four or five length gap back to Tints in Fire on the Banshee Man as they take that plane fence. Which they all get over okay. And Lord Cal, Lord Cal leading by four. Fire Memorial is second. And Tits in final, the Banshee Man. And Blanche Neige after that one. Marlon Raider is after that. And hardly for the National take the long road to Vita Field. And finally, Castle Donington. Inside the final two miles now, and taking fence 18. One or two untidy jumps. Marlon Raider surprisingly untidy at that one. But Lord Cal has shook off Fire Memorial. He's clearing the lead. Moore has gone back to the pack. And Lord Cal continuing to bowl along in front. Fire Memorial second. Tints in fire was third. Blanche Nez and Debancher Man. Then hardly for the National and Malon Raider and Stravita Field and take the long road. And finally Castle Donington. Over the 19th they go, and it's a four of there, and it's Fire Memorial that's gone. So a major surprise there. Fire Memorial crashes out, and Leon van Rensburg has lost one of his two. And they're all safely over that fence that will be the last on the next circuit. So now they go out then on one final circuit of the track, the final race of the Cheltenham Festival meeting for this season and Lord Cal is the leader from Hardy for the National in second, Tints in Fire is third and Blanche Nez is four, then Debanchaman is five and Take the Long Road is six and Malon Raider is seven and Stravita Field eight and Castle Donington brings up the rear at the back but it's Lord Cal who's clearing the lead, this is probably the shortest his lead's been for some time as he races into this first plain fence on the back straight, gets over it nicely from Hardy for the National in second, then Take the Long Road in third, Tints in Fire is next then Blanche Neige as they race towards the water jump then with Lord Cal in front hardly for the national he's got a firm grip on that one in second then comes take the long road tints in fire on now Malon Raider starts to make a move then Blanche Neige and De Bansha Man Castle Donington and finally Stravita Field as they race towards the next which I think is going to be a ditch and it's Lord Cal in front Lord Cal gets over it in the lead but he's now being joined by the Joshua Sutherland pair take the long road and hardly for the national Malon Raider is stalking them in fourth then tints in fire on the inside of Blanche Neige who jumped that really well then comes De Bansha Man and Castle Donington and finally Stravita Field but take the long road pokes its head in front for the first time Lord Cal is overtaken it's Take the long road who's taking it up. Take the long road is in the lead from Lord Cal in second. Hardly for the National is third and Malon Raider is fourth. Then comes Blanche Nez and they get over that ditch. They're all safely over it. Malon Raider was slow. Hardly for the Nationals now come through to take the lead. Hardly for the National from Stablemate. Take the long road on the inside. Lord Cal between the two. Then Blanche Nez and they get over the 26th. They've only got four more to take now. And it's the Joshua Sutherland pair one and two. Take the long road and hardly for the National. Lord Cal still there in third, Blanche Nez is in fourth then comes Tints in fire, or Malon Raider is after that, Stravita Fields making it in the ground, Castle Donington still trying to get going, the Bancher Man isn't out of it as they take the four from home they're all safely over that and it's take the long road from Hartley for the National their Padre Hogan pair are chasing Lord Cal trying to get a second win, 
Then Tintzian Final. They're coming out of Audley. Third last now. And it's hardly for the National. Take the long road. Tintzian Fyro. Lord Cal. Marlon Raider starts to get going again. Over that one mistake by the Joshua Southern Bear. Has allowed Tintzian Fyro to come through to challenge. It's Take the Long Road in front. Take the Long Road. From Hardly for the National in second. Tintzian Fyro's in third. Stravita Field is back in fourth. Then comes Marlon Raider. They've still got a couple of fences to take. But it's Take the Long Road is in the lead. Take the Long Road is too clear. Of Hardly for the National in second. Tinzin Vara is back in third. Then comes Stravita Field who's still running on. Malon Raider looking a bit one paced, but it's Take the Long Road who's clear with two to jump. Take the Long Road. Jockey has a little look round. Racing towards the final two fences then. And Take the Long Road lands in front, but here comes Stravita Field on the outside. It's Take the Long Road in front. Stravita Field and Malon Raider are trying to close. Take the Long Road still in front. Malon Raider's getting closer. At the final fence, Take the Long Road lands in front. Here comes Marlon Raider at the centre of the track. It's Take the Long Road and Marlon Raider. Take the Long Road on the far side. Marlon Raider on the near side. It's a draw to the line as they race up the hill. It's Marlon Raider who's getting up. And Marlon Raider is going to take it from Take the Long Road in second. Then Stravita Field is third and Tints in four and Castle Donington and Hardy for the national. And Blanche Nez and Debanche Man. And the two top rated eventually battling out up the hill it looked like it was going to be a surprise for a while but Padre and Hogan's horses were run out of it Stravita Field was trying to run on but Marlon Raider takes it for Leon it's not enough to get him closer to David Hooley well it gets him closer but it doesn't get him close enough and Marlon Raider wins it for Leon Van Rinsburg take the long road Joshua Sullivan the second Stravita Field for David Robertson was third and Tintin Vora for Padre and Hogan fourth with Castle Donington for Darren Thompson in fifth. I hope everybody enjoyed the Cheltenham Festival. And that's the Cheltenham Festival finished for another season.